Hello, friends. Thanks for tuning in again to another story from Blue Gurus this week. I wanted to talk about a marketing-related topic about consistency in your marketing efforts. But first... Okay, we all know that consistency is critically important in anything that we're trying to do to be effective. Think about, if you take a step back from the reasons you're doing any marketing in the first place, why? You gotta ask yourself the question, why? Why am I spending this time and energy on sales activity or marketing activity and those kinds of things? I think that it's important to understand from a marketing perspective, at least for me, my definition of marketing would be making sure that the people that you have done business with in the past, that you are networking with, the people in your community know about you and about your company. They understand what you do and what your company does. And it's not just the 30 second elevator pitch. I think it's more important that I mean, it's impossible. People understand when you give them their, your elevator pitch of what your business does or what you do for your company, they generally understand what that means, but they don't really, I think, they don't really grasp it until they've heard more stories or seen situations of what you've been involved in. Real world stories. And the only way to do that is to tell them stories consistently. So if you think back on how things used to work, we would go to networking events, we'd go to breakfasts and lunches, and just regular meetings at people's offices to get to know each other. And it would be months in between seeing each other at times. So it's really hard to stay top of mind with that person. And it was an amazing thing when they called out of the blue and said, hey, you know what? It was great meeting you a month ago and I have a referral for you. There's somebody that's wanting your help, that needs your help for what they're trying to do. But that was kind of rare. Even though that was kind of rare, a lot of companies have experienced that most of their business comes from word of mouth referrals. And that's why marketing is so important for companies because that's, way, that's the way you stay top of mind with people, especially the ones that are gonna give you those referrals. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. It's kind of hard to argue. If you're wanting to stay top of mind with people, especially the ones that are gonna give you referrals, you gotta tell them stories. And what better way to do that, because you're not going to send necessarily a postcard every week, you're maybe going to do a, a blog post every week, or status updates on social media platforms. That's the way you stay top of mind with people. But before just jumping in and saying, you need to be doing blog posts every week on your company website, or you need to be in LinkedIn a few times a week doing status updates, it's important to understand the why of that. And the why is to stay top of mind with all your friends and all your peers and all your referral partners. And the only way to do that is a consistent storytelling. So the consistency of telling stories on a regular basis is really hard for a lot of people. And the only way that you're going to get there, the only way a company is going to get there is to commit to it. And it's just like anything. You have to put time on your calendar to remind you to do it because it's not a habit yet. So my encouragement for companies is to have some kind of a process, whether there is a weekly social meeting where they're getting together and talking about stories they should be sharing, or if it's just something you're putting on your calendar to go into LinkedIn and do status updates on a regular basis, until you're used to doing that consistently and you start breathing that way and it's built into the way you do your work, you need to have reminders on your calendar so you can get that process in place. And once you get the process in place, it just kind of becomes second nature and you can start enjoying the process more of just telling stories. It also helps when people start giving you feedback about the stories that you're telling. Hey, I love the article that you wrote about blah, or hey, I love the video that you shared about blah. Those kinds of things. When you get the feedback from your peers, it really reinforces why you're doing this stuff. That's when you're winning, by the way. That's when you're having success is when people talk about what you're talking about. That's the whole point of marketing. That's a simple view of it maybe, but I think that's the whole point of marketing is when other people in your community, your customer base, your prospect base, your peers, talk about the things that you're talking about. That's the definition of marketing. And that's the goal we're all trying to get to. And the only way that you can get there, in my opinion, 
is that you have to be consistent with your content updates and telling stories. You have to tell those people the stories of what you're working on and what you're involved in so that they're like, oh yeah, there's Jason doing that thing again this week. He's doing LinkedIn training for a bank. Or, oh yeah, there's Jason. He, he and his buddies just launched a new website for this client that I know here in town. That's a cool website. Whatever the stories are, I have to tell that. I mean, the story I tell people all the time is I was in a peer advisory group with a guy for years that didn't know I did web development. And you might think immediately, well, Jason, you did a crappy job of explaining to that person. Um, but I didn't do a bad job. I mean, it was very obvious. Everyone else in the group knew that I did web development. But it's just kind of the point that you have to tell people so many times and real stories that they can understand of, oh yeah. And the funny end of that story is he ended up hiring me to do his website. So <laughs> it's just one of those things that it doesn't matter if you told him once or twice when you've done your elevator pitch at some event or something, it's gotta be a lot more than that. Oh yeah, Jason's talking about doing LinkedIn training or Jason's talking about doing web development or Jason's helping another company tell their stories through blogging. Whatever those things are, I'm consistently saying that stuff every week on my blog, my LinkedIn status updates, and these YouTube videos. And it's become kind of a thing where it just it happens now. Granted, it takes work, but I'm kind of used to the process now where on the weekends I'm thinking about my topics. I've actually got my topics lined up for the first three months of 2021. And I'm going to just execute that. So I start doing the video recording or the script writing of whatever I'm going to do for my blog, whatever the thing is that I'm going to put out. I've got a process and then it goes live Tuesday or Wednesday each week. So if you don't have that in place currently, if you don't have some kind of a consistent storytelling process or consistent status update process on LinkedIn, 2021 might be a great year for you to get that figured out. I think it will make a big difference for you personally and for your company professionally as well if you can figure that out. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed the story this week. And if you have any questions, please be sure to leave those in the comments below. And hey, if you're getting value from these videos, I would really appreciate if you would like and subscribe on YouTube. I am trying to get to a point where I can claim my URL for YouTube and I need about 24 more subscribers. So if you could be one of those 24, I'd really appreciate it. Have a great week.